Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Unit 3 from Grade 9 Science that is Life Cycle of Mushroom. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe this channel and for more updates, hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share this video among your friends and also don't forget to give a valuable response in comment section. So here in this unit, we are going to discuss mushroom, life cycle of mushroom, importance of mushroom for human health, economic importance of mushroom, ecological importance of mushroom, mushroom farming, processing and storage of mushroom, methods of drying mushroom, edible and poisonous mushroom. Mushroom. A mushroom is the flesh is for bearing fruiting body of a fungus typically produce above ground, on soil, or on its food source. It is a non-green due to the lack of chlorophyll and cannot prepare its own food. Hence, it has saprophytic mode of nutrition. Classification of Mushroom Kingdom Fungi Class Agaricomycetes Order Agaricalis Family Agaricaceae Genus Agaricus, Species Campresis. Growing Area Fungi Mushroom grows usually in rainy season or damp rotten logs of wood, tree trunks, dung cakes, decaying organic matter, and damp soil rich in organic substances. External Structure of Mushroom the plant body of mushroom is thallus, that is, not clearly differentiated into root, stem, and leaves. It consists of two main parts. They are vegetative body, the mycelium underground part, second one, reproductive body, fruiting body, basidiocarp, and fruitification. First one, mycelium. It is the vegetative part of mushroom which absorbs food from the organic matter on which it grows. Hypha is the thread-like filament that forms the mycelium and the fruiting body. Second one, fruiting body, basidiocarp, and fruitification. It is the reproductive part of mushroom that grows above the ground. Under favorable condition, it develops from the mycelium and grows above the ground. This fruiting body is called basidiocarp or more commonly mushroom. The fruiting body of a mushroom consists of a fleshy stalk known as a stipe and an umbrella-like structure at the top called pileus. A ring-like structure attached to the stipe that remains below the pileus is called annulus. A large number of soft and thin vertical plate-like structure on the upper surface of pileus are called gills or lamella. The number of gills ranges from 300 to 600 for each fruiting body. Internal structure of gills A vertical section of gills shows three regions, trauma, subhymenia, and hymenium. Trauma is the innermost or the central region of the gill. Subhymenium lies outside the trauma and consists of rounded cells. Hymenium is the outermost part of gills which has two types of cells. The shorter and sterile cells called paraphysis and longer club shaped cells called basidia. The basidium consists of separate haploid nuclei which are known as plus strain and minus strain. The swollen and nucleated spores produced by basidia of mushroom are called basidiospore. Life cycle of mushroom. There are two haploid nuclei in the basidium of a gill. These two haploid nuclei fuse together to give a diploid nucleus. The diploid nucleus undergoes meiosis division and produces four haploid nuclei. Four finger like projections are formed in the apical region of basidium, which are called hysteric mater. Each haploid nucleus migrate to our hysterigma giving rise to four basidiospores. Out of four basidiospores, two act as positive strain and the other two act as a negative strain. 
when the basidial spores get mature they are released onto the soil under favorable conditions the basidial spores germinate and give rise to primary mycelium the cell of each primary mycelium consists of a nucleus two hyphae of different strands of primary mycelium fuse together to form secondary mycelium a secondary mycelium changes into a mushroom when it gets suitable temperature and moisture at the beginning the secondary mycelium forms a small spherical bottom in the substratum these bottoms later grow into an umbrella shaped like mushroom called fruiting body thus one mature mushrooms produce basidial spores releasing them to the suitable environment and continuing the life cycle of mushroom importance of mushroom in human health reduces the risk of obesity and other diseases many chronic diseases like diabetes cardiac diseases are proved to be cured by the intake of mushrooms prevent cancers being high in antioxidants and low in sodium fat and cholesterol it is the best friend for our cells thereby preventing cancer powers of the immune system mushrooms are rich packed richly packed with selenium which can which one cannot find in fruits or vegetables this helps in boosting immunity excellent source of proteins mushroom have very high protein content which is the best alternative to meat gears of the energy mushrooms are a good powerhouse of energy values which is equivalent to that of an apple weight management mushrooms are rich in dietary fibers that helps in maintaining fullness in our tummy thus it helps in weight management eradicates the growth of viruses mushroom destroy the growth of active viruses and inhibits bacterial growth pain reliever one of the mushroom varieties rishi is known to reveal any pain in the body tris anemia being high in folic acid it helps to treat anemic patients swathing power mushroom have the power to calm down our body and reduce fatigue and stress levels other uses mushroom are also used for surgical dressings as an ink for writing painting soaps cleaning agent pesticides anesthesia etc economic importance of mushroom mushroom production is economically important as it can contribute to the economy in terms of nutritional value and reduce unemployment mushrooms are called white gold meeting the food demand for the increasing population from the limited land sources is a big challenge the global food and nutritional security of growing population is a great challenge which looks for new crop as a source of food and nutrition in this context mushroom finds a favor which can be grown even by landless people that too on waste material and can be a source of proteinous food ecological importance of mushroom fungi play vital roles in the biosphere they are essential to the recycling of nutrients in all terrestrial habitats because they are the dominant decomposers of the complex components of plant debris such as cellulose and lignin mushroom farming a simple procedure for cultivating mushroom using straw is given below materials required straw of paddy or wet polythene bags mushroom spores sprayer thermometer etc procedure select straw of good quality and cut it into fine pieces of size 1 to 2 inches Boil the cut pieces of straw in clean water for 15 to 20 minutes. Boiling makes the straw soft and also keeps the germs present there. Dry the boiled straw in sunshine for 2 to 4 hours so that it is properly dried. Take polythene bags and make several holes on them. Put the straw in layer and scatter spores of mushroom one above the other in the alternate layer. 
There should be about 5 to 6 layer in each polythene bag and the height of each layer should be 8 to 10 inches. Leave the closed package in a clean place in dark with the temperature of 20 to 25 degrees Celsius for 7 days. After 7th day, you will observe some thin cottony threads growing on the straw. Make 3 to 4 more holes in the polythene bags and sprinkle water according to need each day. The growth of mushroom will be observed on the 10th day after 17th day mushroom is just growing out from the holes in polythene bags. The grown mushrooms will be ready for harvesting after 25 days. Processing and storage of mushroom. A simple method of, of making sugar from mushroom is given below. Wash mushroom carefully to clean it. Turn the washed mushroom into small pieces. Soak the mushroom in boiling water for about 10 minutes. Place the soaked mushroom in a netted vessel for some minutes to let water escape. Dry them in bright sunshine, oven or modern oven, whatever available. It will take some days if drying is not done in sunshine. Seal the properly dried mushroom in plastic packets making air tight. Store the packets in a dry and cool place. Method of drying mushroom. First one using chemicals. A good quality mushroom sugar can be produced by soaking it in a combined solution of 3% common salt, 6% sugar, 0.2% citric acid and 1% 1 po and 1 potassium bisulfide for 16 hours followed by drying at 60 to 62 degrees Celsius temperature for 8 hours. The dried mushroom should be placed inside an airtight container. It can also be stored by grinding dry mushroom into powder and storing it in an airtight vessel. Next one, drying in sunshine. Kanye chow can be dried comfortably in the sunshine. For this purpose, mushroom should be spread uniformly in a clean mat and placed in sunshine having temperature more than 25 degrees Celsius. It can also be dried using a heating machine at a temperature of 40 to 45 degrees Celsius. The mushroom dried by this method can be stored safely in an airtight vessel for 120 days. Edible and poisonous mushroom. In general, the mushroom will, with the following features are poisonous. Red colored mushroom, light gray colored mushroom, mushroom with red node and red cap, mushroom with white gills, mushroom with vulva at the nose, shiny mushroom untouched by any insects, mushroom that produce yellow agate while placing caps, etc. Harmful effects of poisonous mushroom. Wild mushroom are daily poisonous. They can cause death of people if consumed. Mushroom of Boletus species causes body pain, vomiting, and diarrhea. Amanita folidus death cup causes gastric disturbances and also paralyzes the central nervous system. The poisonous mushrooms are commonly called toadstools, but in general, the more poisonous mushrooms are brightly colored. Some edible and poisonous mushrooms. Agaricus campestris, Seto Chao, Agaricus bisophos, Gobre Chao, Poriporilus brumalis, Chamre Chao, Lepiota prosira, Ormeleria melia. These are examples of some edible mushroom. Now we are going to discuss few examples of poisonous mushroom. Agaricus sevicola. Agaricus xanthodermis, Amanita phalloides, death cup, Amanita varna, Rubro boritus, Isthanus. Now we are going to discuss few reasoning questions from this unit. First one, mushroom are called decomposers. Why? Mushroom are called decomposers because like other fungi, they break down dead and decaying matter to make their own food. Next question. We must be careful while eating mushroom. Why? We must be careful while eating mushroom because some mushrooms are deadly poisonous. 
Next, consuming wild mushroom is dangerous. Why? Consuming wild mushroom is dangerous because they contain high levels of heavy metals, other harmful chemicals, and toxins which can trigger fatal health problems. Next question Bacidium is the fertile cell of the mushroom. Why? Bacidium is the fertile cell of mushroom because Bacidium serves as a site of cardiogamy and meiosis, functions by which sex cells fuses, exchange nuclear material and divide to reproduce basidiospores. Now we are going to discuss few differences between from this chapter. First one, differences between primary mycelium and secondary mycelium. Primary mycelium, it contains two distinct strains, that is positive strain and negative strain. Secondary mycelium, it does not contain any strains. Primary mycelium, it is haploid mycelium, whereas secondary mycelium, it is diploid mycelium. Primary mycelium is formed by the germination of basidiospore, whereas secondary mycelium, it is formed by fusion of two primary mycelia of opposite strain. Differences between paraphase and basidium. Paraphysis, it is shorter, whereas basidium, it is longer, club shaped Paraphysis, it is sterile cells, whereas basidium, it is fertile cells. Difference between hyphae, hyphae and mycelium. Hyphae, they are the thread like filaments that forms fungal cell, whereas mycelium, it is the mass of hypha that forms fungal body. Hyphae, it contains many hypha, whereas mycelium, it contains one mycelium. By this, we have completed notes of this unit, life cycle of mushroom. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Hope to get your suggestions regarding this video in comment section. Thank you. See you on next video.